Hi, I'm Queen B, aka Birgitta Sonning Thorson. I'm a talent manager, film producer, chef, and the author of a cookbook called Peasant Food Fit for Kings and Queens. Now, I've been invited by Emma Moonwood, the inventor of the Golden Buzzer, an experiment that's going to prove to the world that we humans actually, with a lot of positivity, a lot of smiles, can make this world a better place and especially make the internet a better place. Now, Emma is um, a girl who's 16, 17 years old that I met a year, year and a half ago on Cyberdust. And ever since I met her, I've been very impressed with all her ideas, um, with her entrepreneurial skills, uh, her drive, uh, her effort to just make everybody feel a lot better. So this is one of the reasons um, why I've decided to help Emma out and give my time um, to her great course and prove that we can actually help Emma, a 16 year old girl, um, just make this place uh, a little bit better and together we can make the world a lot, lot better. Now, in this effort, I have to invite two people whom I privately admire. And um, one of the guys that I do admire is musician, comedian, and actor Phil, Bill Sucker. Now, Bill Sucker is a crazy dude running around in Los Angeles and he just wants to become world famous and he's a great friend. And one of the most wicked things that he does that really puts a great smile on my face is he runs around in Beverly Hills and he steals famous people's toilet paper. And then he actually gives it to people who need it even more. And now this has puzzled me and my blonde brain a lot that why do poor people need toilet paper more than people in Beverly Hills? I need an explanation on that, Bill. Now, Bill, I really want you to join this. So damn you, Zucker, as the going goes. Jump on this and help my friend Emma out and show that you also want to um, put a brighter and happier smile on everybody's face and make, um, you know, um, the internet a better place. Another guy who I admire, uh, not only for his skills and for what he's become and the um, um, stuff that he's put out there is Jeff Jamie Oliver. Um, you have had great success ever since you started. You have great skills in the kitchen. You're true to recipes. You are true to um, food in general. And that really impressed me a lot. But one thing that really impressed me with you is that you took your skills from the kitchen and combined that with helping youngsters out. And you've done so both in London and in Australia and I believe other places too. Um, the way that you took children and youngsters out of misery, youngsters who didn't have anywhere to turn to, uh, they might be in trouble, uh, drug or alcohol abusers, and um, left school too early, and took them into a kitchen, made them into cooks and chefs, and really gave them a chance. That is one heck of an achievement, and I think it's a great idea. And that you, you know, you also turned it into a show to show everybody else and, and give us all a laugh and, and uh, entertainment out of that is, is really good. But the idea behind it, I think it's very admirable. And um, for that reason, I, I really do look up to you, Jamin. I think that was a, a, a good cause. And since you've shown us all that you want to change the world and you want to, you know, everybody to, to have a better life and you want everything to be um, much smilier and, and happier. I want you to jump on Emma's Golden Busser and uh, give a little piece of a cake of your time and um, prove that you really are who you put out to be. And um, Emma, I've told you this before, I think you are an amazing girl. Everything that you do is very admirable and this cause is so great and I wish you absolutely the best of luck and I hope it becomes a great success and to everybody who gets nominated or invited for this do please join the course show that you have a little bit of time and um, let's help them out ciao